And so I showed you my attempt to cut out the vine borer from my cantaloupe plants. And I also have cucumber and various squash and zucchini. And apparently they're also susceptible to the vine borer. So I found out about this stuff called BT. That has a long name, but it's BT right there. It's a, um, a natural organic way to kill the vine borer and you do it by injecting it. So I'm going to try it and uh, take you out in the garden so you can see. So it says you're supposed to dilute it one tablespoon per gallon of water and this is three cups of water which is not quite a third of a gallon. So I am going to use a teaspoon which is a third of a tablespoon and hopefully that will be good enough so putting it in let's see i'll show you what it looks like it's kind of gray and it does not smell that good and i'm gonna put it in here one thing i saw online also said you don't really want to store it like you want to use it right away so that's why i'm only mixing up a little bit right now it's an old salsa container so now i am going to go back out into the garden i got this from tractor supply both of these things so i'm gonna go back out into the garden and try this but i'm also going to take my knife just in case i feel like i need it so i'll see you out there Hey you guys, I am going to um, try to inject this stuff into my squash plant and hope that that will defeat the vine borer squash, the squash boring grub, the vine borer. I think it's called a vine borer. I'm trying to save my cantaloupe by injecting, I have it in a salsa container, but it is BT. And it's supposed to stop the the vine borers from eating so then they die because if they don't they eat up your whole plant from the inside which i believe i'll show you i believe that's what's happening with these little wilty leaves and i kept seeing some soft vines and stems um i thought they were getting soft maybe because they were touching the ground so i lifted them up a little bit but they still kept happening and then i realized there's little holes where the vine borer had entered in it's organic you can put it inside or on your squash i'm hoping this will fix it and cure it so you look for where you think the vine borer uh, went in and you put your needle inside it's a hollow tube the the vine is so you're trying to get it a couple inches or an inch or so above where your grub is okay so here's one of the spots For earlier I dug around in here with my knife and I think I got one of the the grubs out but now I'm gonna try this okay so I've got this this is my BT and getting some of this solution so I could feel it go in and then be kind of hollow. Although it's squirting out the other side. So I'm gonna try a couple other spots too. Put this on, lid on so I don't spill it. And then I'm gonna, you wanna go in until you feel that it's gotten into the hollow part. Uh 
wanting to come out. There we go, it's coming out. You can actually see it coming out this little hole that I had made with the knife earlier. And the, um, I think it was called the garden fork is where I got the best information. Yeah, I can feel it coming out. So I'll put a link to their video in here. But apparently what happens is when the grub that eventually becomes a moth, kind of a beautiful moth, I, I took a picture, I'll show you. It looks, I thought it was a wasp back actually. But apparently what happens is, and I'm gonna come up here a little further. So apparently what you want is, oh, well, did you see that come out? Uh-uh, oh, stop. Um, once the slug eats a little bit, I'm getting a little bit more here. So if you haven't ever used an injector, you just Pull back on the plunger and it suctions up some more. But, uh, trying to talk and do this. Apparently, if the grub eats this even a little bit, it makes them stop eating. So, you want to put it a little bit above. And I think it's okay for it to be outside also. I'm also gonna take some of this dirt off of here so I can get, because this part here is very soft. And sadly, I don't know if that part's gonna make it, we'll see. But that is the part where my, my beautiful cantaloupe is growing. Yeah, my cantaloupe is growing off of this vine. There's other ones, so you know, Who, like, yeah, like, who knew that you could inject your plants? I had seen a couple suggestions, so here I am just pulling out a little bit more. I had seen some people suggesting it, and it took me a while to find a video on how to do it. Yeah, so this is all very soft. I do have it covered in dirt, so I'm hoping that it will grow new roots because they're supposed to be very resilient that way. Some people say if you get that um, vine borer, they just pull it up and, and just plant new plants. But you know I don't want to do that if I can help it. So we will see. Oh, hey, good news. This is not the one that this is on and this one's actually like super far gone so I'm just gonna pull this particular leaf off so this is what happens with the vine borer and and I'm gonna throw this in the trash just in case there's a little grub inside so I don't infect the ground around it so I'm just gonna throw that away and I'm gonna hope now I do have another one growing off of that one so this will be our test to see. So that's what I'm doing. I've done two of the plants. I have two more. And I'm gonna wrap some tin foil around the ones, like my new starters, because that is supposed to help prevent them from getting in in the first place. All right, so I just wanted to show you quickly how to clean your needle so that you can use it again and not risk having any kind of germs or bacteria or anything on it. So it's pretty simple. So all you need is water and bleach in a container. So put, you don't need a bunch, just a little bit of water and however much water you put in, put in the same amount of bleach. So one to one. And then you just put your needle in there, pull back the plunger 
So it fills it up with this water and bleach solution. Push it back out. So it's pulling that bleach water in there. Do that a couple times. And then just pull this out and let that dry separately and you should be good. Thank you all for joining me. Um, once I get this all taken care of and whether it does or doesn't work, I'll put it all together and make a video so you can see from the beginning to end. Hopefully you don't come across this problem, but apparently it is a, a pretty big problem for squash, cantaloupe, melons, um, zucchini, cucumbers. So I will be the guinea pig and I'll let you know how it goes. Here's hoping things go well. I hope you guys are doing good. I love you guys. Wish me luck. Love you guys. Bye-bye.